welcome back to the channel well i'm going to do things a little bit different in my upcoming videos i might be going down to one maybe two videos a week uh that is because i've just been wearing myself thin i'm just wore out all the time so anyways it's late in the evening but i figured i'd come over here and start working on my nova i got the interior all put together i might add a clip in there to uh show y'all putting it in Uh, I got the new front brake lines, the correct brake lines, and we're going to put them in. That way my brackets are right again and stuff like that. Uh, I put a new air cleaner on. And so we got just quite a bit to do. Also, these two bolts right here, they're supposed to go in like that. And be where we can... Uh, put some shims in there if you can see this tire is leaning in pretty good and this tire is leaning in pretty good so that way we can do the alignment on it take it to go get an alignment and hopefully we can get a lot better quality videos by not posting so much i won't be in so much of a hurry all the time so let's get started by jacking this thing up I've just been so tired and so wore out that we've decided that it's just probably best if I go down to one, maybe two videos a week. I also got some uh, cotter keys. Whenever I put this front end together, I didn't put the cotter keys or the... Uh, research in so let's get these this wheel off and we'll be back okay the wheel is off so yeah I just have this one floating in there we'll take this one off see how bad it's kinked in there we'll take him off uh, I'll probably need a rancher I could probably just bend them out of the way and then we'll take the top one off and hopefully we'll get that done relatively quickly i don't know how i'm gonna get back in there to get those bolts out i'll just have to figure that out when i get there Ooh, my head all right let's pull this thing off Okay, it's on there. Now we'll move on to these two bolts right here. We'll try to pull them out. The bolts are actually supposed to go in from this side. I really need to pull this whole upper control arm. But that might be a job for another day. Let's see if we can't pull those out. Uh, if we pull one out at a time, I think we should be all right. So let's try that first. Uh, I mean, I could pull this ball joint, make it real simple on myself. Let's give that a go. Let's pull this ball joint and it'll be held by the shock. So that should be no problem. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and 
lift that up, take those out, be done with it. Okay, first let's start out undoing what I just did because uh, I think I'm going to replace those upper bushings. If I have them, I might as well replace them. So. Come on. this nut back in there or bolt back in there just for safekeeping on that bottom one it looks like it is probably an 11 16 maybe Ooh. junk they send you metric instead of SAE okay, I guess. now that shock is all the way extended already so Let's get a pry bar and see if we can't knock that out. Okay. That'll just make it a whole lot easier on myself. Uh, those ones are probably a 5 8 Bigger. maybe 11 16s yeah okay let's get an extension Uh, 
this is the bolt that's supposed to go through there, right here. And it's supposed to go through right there. So, Apparently I didn't replace these ones either. I bet you these are loose also. No, nope, those ones aren't loose. So I'm gonna get an 11 16 wrench on this one. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this upper control arm too. And I need to do that brake line. Oh, what a mess. Uh, but I don't think I'll do that tonight. We might work on that later. I've got to see if I have these and if I don't, I need to get them ordered. Okay, it's pretty late in the day. It's almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna call it quits right there for tonight. Tomorrow, maybe the next day, we'll finish pull, putting bushings in this. I'm gonna try to pull them out real quick. See if I can get them out. And we'll put new bushings in it. The new bump stop. Uh, I already put the one on the bottom, it looks like. I just need the one on the top. And let's just see if that thing pulls out real quick. Uh, that looks like a 916s. Oh, come on. Okay. It will pull out. It just might need a little persuasion from a handy dandy pair of pliers. Okay, add a washer, the nut on top. We'll keep that until we put the new one in. These old bushings. One looks like it has to be drove out. Not sure how that works. One has to be drove out before the new one can be drove in. But this rod has to be in here first. So. Huh. I might make a deal that fits right there. And I can smack down. I don't know how that gets pulled out. But we won't worry about it tonight. We'll worry about that tomorrow. Well, we're back. It's a couple days later. I got the upper control arm all put back together. New bushings installed. Uh, we're going to try to go ahead and throw her on the car. And it's not easy to get this thing quite in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, you take it from this side, throw her in, 
I might have to pull this spark plug wire off. Come on. Well, that dang bolt isn't in there straight, so I'm gonna have to <coughs> beat it over somehow. There we go. Do that one. So now we got it in like that. We can take our nuts and throw them on. And this will be what the hard part is. I'll get my ratchet out, see if I can't put these on like that, but it might be a little difficult. But this is what I need to do for alignment. that size it is that size I think oops well almost that size okay now I'll have to push on that somehow or hold this other side. I think it's a 5.8. I'm pretty sure it is. Well, it might work with this 11 16. Okay, now one hand's on. One hand's on either side of the fender. That way we can get it in there. And now that it's set, it won't be too hard, but getting it set was the hard part. That will take you and throw you back on. I also, I don't know, I might go to town today and get some different spark plug wires. Yeah. That way we can run them right. Okay, now that that's all back on, I need to tighten these two right here. And, but I wanna put it back in the, in the wheel hub first. So let's get that done. We'll put it in that wheel hub real quick. jack stand and then we'll have to jack that up to put that back on oh lovely all right we'll be right back actually you know what i'm gonna do right there and then three two one done okay that's all back together cotter feet kins uh cotter keys are in grease shirts are in uh there's a couple more cotter keys that i have to put on but i figured instead of laying underneath the car i'll go in the pit whenever i get this done i still have to do the other side so let's get this wheel on real quick actually i'm gonna go get my grease done a little bit of grease into the upper and lower ones before i get the tire on there because it'll just be easier so we'll be right back okay we got the grease gun 
Let's see a couple drops into this. Okay, it is all nice and greasy now. It might be out of grease too, so just in time. Okay, let's get this wheel on. Also, we'll be getting new lug nuts if I go to town. These ones are terrible. They have a thin metal cover on them and that cover is not very good. I gotta let that jack down real quick. But I imagine she'll drive a lot better. And we can take her for an alignment now. That's that's what I'm working towards, is taking it for an alignment. I got my mom. She is uh, doing the title work on it right now. See, this is my grandpa's car. And even though he gave it to me, it has to go in her name or my grandmother's name first, and then I can inherit it. It's just the way Oklahoma's, I mean, he gave this car to me when I was three, but we never switched the title over. See this one, this, Impact won't even go on. Okay. There we go. Now all we gotta do is the exact same thing on the other side. So let's get after it. Set you it down first though. Yeah, baby. Although that still looks like it's, well, yeah. That top is sticking out way far. So once we remove these, we'll put spacers behind here and that'll pull that front of that tire in. So that's what we're working on. I gotta get spacers too for them. So I'll order them if I go to town too. All right, I'm gonna get set up on the other side. We gotta do the brake line and we got brakes upper control arm bushings and then I got to put a few cotter keys in and a few uh, cotter keys with something else I need to do I don't remember right now greasers so let's get started here we go
Okay, the upper control arm is off and I'm about to show you all the easiest way to get these bushings out. It is not hard at all. Let me get it all set up right there. What I'm gonna do is just try to find a nice reasonable place to hold this. Probably ought to back y'all up some more. Hopefully y'all can see. Make sure y'all can see real quick. Yeah. Okay, we'll work on this one first. Air hammer and a chisel and on it. Then you need some air. And a little bit of time. There we go, it's out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other one out. Then we'll take this out, clean it up. But plumb easy. I mean, you guys don't have to. I see comments and posts all the time about people struggling to get them out. But with that, it's pretty darn easy. So we'll be back. And there we go. In just a couple seconds, upper control arm is done. So we'll go throw him back on. Uh, we might do the brake line first, but uh, I don't know why people always have so much trouble getting these out. They're super easy. All it takes is an air hammer. I mean, I do, think I've got 30 bucks in this and it came with the bit, uh, an air compressor, and you're, you're good to go. I mean, that just takes it out so fast. Don't even blink at it. So I'll go get this brake line done and then we'll move on to throwing it all back together, pulling it out, pulling it over the pit, putting in cotter keys. I need to try to find my other sway bar mount and put my sway bar in. So uh, I got new sway bar bushings also. So, I mean, we're getting super close. We're getting so close. As soon as my mom gets that title done, we'll be out on the street driving her. I do want to get a one wire Chevy alternator for this. Uh, I think that'll be a lot better than the voltage regulator. And still need to order AC for it. I want air conditioner and a fan shroud. Maybe I'll order the fan shroud today. Well, that one's working, just not as good as it's probably supposed to. All right, we'll be back here in a minute. Okay, I'm going to start by putting the uh, brake line back on. Hopefully we can get her on and get her done. Then we can put the upper control arm back on and call it a day. I think that was a half inch, maybe? Yeah, that was a half.
Okay, I got this thing all buttoned up. Let's get a cold start and see if this thing handles any better. Ready? Oh, this sinking thing. Why are we not starting? Oh, did I unhook something on accident? I do have a spark plug wire off. Not getting any fuel up here yet. That could be a problem. Okay. Let's try her again. Oh. Let's see. No fuel up here. Surely this thing's not out of gas. It should be though, I guess. Let's give her a whiff. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this belt. <laughs> I cannot listen to that no more. I didn't think it was too loose though, but it's not tight enough. I hope it's that belt. Okay, it's a half inch and a pry bar. Okay, let's tighten this alternator up and maybe we'll go for a ride then. Don't like that belt squeak. Need a new fan belt. Okay. Let's see if she squeals now. Like a pig.
but I forgot I don't have brakes yet. I gotta pump them back up. Maybe now you guys can hear me. Maybe. We can stop, so we're gonna see if she drives fine up and down these rough roads. This car has come a long ways in just a few short videos. Now in alignment. And I need to balance the wheels. And I need to put that distributor in. A new distributor in it. Get it running. And, oh, I got a temp light. Uh oh. Which means I am out of coolant. Let's roll backwards towards the shop. She is running this front end so much smoother though. I have a freeze plug I need to replace. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, I didn't hit the, uh, I didn't run out of antifreeze. I just knocked the temp sensor off. So, no big deal. All right, let's go for a ride up and down the road real quick. And then we'll call it quits. So, let's go. I also put this dash pad back on. I know it's not great, but it's on there. So I really need to bleed the brakes, but I'm gonna have to have help with that. Doesn't sound like my wife is gonna be coming home today, maybe tomorrow, so maybe she'll be able to help me. bunch of bubble wrap back there for my girls they love that stuff so that front end feels so tight I mean there is no play anywhere look at that that's all the play there is that's not stinking much for a 50 year old car look at that go <laughs> my bubble wrap get back in my car okay do I need to teach you another lesson back there huh you stay stay that's what I thought all right let's get going
like a freaking rocket. Well, well, it, it does ride a whole lot better. I'm super happy with that. I'll hopefully be able to get it for an alignment real quick. I need to do the brakes, bleed them first. Uh, maybe I'll get my boss to help me with that in the morning. We probably won't put that on video. Uh, sort of thinking about getting the seats done on it pretty quick and a new dash pad. I need to find somebody to do the headliner for me. I don't want to, I don't want to try it. I'm not, I'm not good with upholstery. Just look at my back seat. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video. Please, please, please like the video. That, that means a lot to me. So, uh, like or dislike, I don't care. It, it, do either or. And we will talk to you next time I put this thing away. I'm going to get me some lunch. Peace out.